Hello again, Wickham Wizards and any other Iowa City Community School District teachers or students who might be using this lesson. We are on day two of our group spring flowers. So last week we started with pencil, we measured out eight inches from one corner and we created those circular shapes and filled in our flowers with designs, patterns, or anything that kind of described us or expressed our personality. Now today, you might have had an opportunity to see at your table spot what these flowers might look like when they start coming together. If you are someone whose petals did not get those details or whose centers maybe aren't finished, your first job today is going to get all those details completed with Sharpie. Now, when you are done with Sharpie, make sure that we erase any of those extra pencil lines we don't need. And then today we are going right into painting. So depending on what your portion of the flower looked like, whether it was really full of details and patterns, or if it was a little more simple, that was your choice. Depending on what it looks like, you might have a lot more areas to fill in than someone else. And that is okay. Today we're going to be using our tempera cakes. So you will get a tray of tempera cakes at your table. It will be your responsibility to get water cups. There should be two per table, one paintbrush per person. And remember those water cups should not be filled more than halfway. We wanna minimize our accidents today. And as soon as you are done with that Sharpie, you're going to begin painting. Now, boys and girls, a lot of flowers might have similar colors from their centers out to the petals, et cetera, et cetera. But what we want to do today is create some flowers that are really bright, vibrant, and colorful. And to do that, our goal is going to be to add contrast. Now we can see contrast in artwork oftentimes when there are different colors right next to each other. So that means that we aren't going to want to fill in beautiful red on our whole entire flower. We're going to want to kind of pick and choose where might I like certain colors to be. And if I'm going to add contrast, I need to make sure that not two spots are the same color that are touching. So, sorry, that was a kind of a, a mush mouth there. But one more time to repeat that, if you are doing one color, it should not be touching two spots next to each other. So we know with our proper paintbrush techniques, if we are done with one color, we're going to rinse and clean our brush in the water. We wipe the excess water off of the side and we move into that next color. Boys and girls, you may do any colors you want. You might do repeating colors. You might do rainbow order. You might just be wacky and see how it comes together as you go. Sometimes that's the most fun. But our goal, guys and gals, is to get our entire flower filled in from the very center through the petals and into the background. So your background might be multiple colors. Maybe you just pick one of your favorites and fill that whole background in with one color. But no matter what you decide, it all needs to be filled in. Now I'm not gonna sit here and paint in all of my paper here, but there are a couple things I wanna show you before I let you go and you get right to work. Now for one, when we are using paints, if you see your paint not gliding smoothly, then you need a little bit more water. I also want to remind us that when we're painting, we should be using our tippy tippy toes. We're not jamming our brush down. Ah, that is so painful for my brush. Instead, I should really be focusing on being a careful artist who uses our brush on the tippy toes and takes their time. That glide, that nice movement will tell you you've got enough. Now, if you go to paint a fresh color, a new color, and you get to work and it is just not showing up very well, if it is scratchy or just not looking nice and vibrant, then you might need to get a little extra water right on here. Now, by no means do we pour water or dump water on here, but you might need to get a nice watery brush 
to then, ooh, I like that difference. I like how dark that looked. To then get that nice bright color. All right, folks. I will have some examples ready for us on our backboard of the classroom. Otherwise, your job today is to finish any Sharpie you did not get done last week and move into painting your awesome flowers. I will see you all next Friday. Be kind, be respectful, work hard today.